Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is both a film that I still haven't seen, as well as a great description of my earliest synth patches. Let me explain. Just a couple of weeks ago, I made this video in which I made a synthesizer patch with just one oscillator using just one synth technique. And I ended up with something that I really liked. And the temptation was for me to add more stuff to it. And then I took a deep breath and said, no just leave it alone. And it kind of reminded me of the early days when I first got into synthesis and I would get a new synthesizer and say, oh, it has all of these modulation capabilities and that must mean that I've got to use all of them all the time in every patch. And as you might imagine, that led to some patches that sounded cluttered and unfocused and uh, really quite terrible. Sometimes I think it's more about knowing what to leave out, just like when writing music, I feel much the same way. I think most of the mixes and the music that I really appreciate the most may have simpler elements, even mono elements in some cases, but they're layered in such a way that they have great separation. You can hear clearly everything that's going on and you don't get this cluttered mess that we can sometimes develop when we're patching and trying to use everything under the kitchen sink. I keep staring down at my Waldorf Iridium because it is such a great example to me of a scent that can do so many things that the temptation is always to do everything. And I think the best patches that I've ever made on the Iridium sometimes just use two oscillators, sometimes just one oscillator. They're more specialized. reminds me of when I first got into Eurorack and modular synthesis and I would look at this massive rack of sound possibilities and think okay well I've got to have a mixer for every set of oscillators I've got to have 28 VCAs to accommodate all of these possible voices so that I can get everything out of my system at one time and then my approach shifted to looking at it as a palette of colors I can select what I want to use. I don't have to have everything going parallel at the same time. And that really opened things up for me with modular synthesis and with synthesizers that have a deep mod matrix like the Iridium. It has 40 mod slots. You don't have to use all of them. And then when we do start layering things together in a mix, it's easier because all of these pieces can be shaped and they don't take up so much of the frequency spectrum. And it makes our lives easier on the mixing side for sure. So a couple things to keep in mind. This is not groundbreaking information, I realize, but it's something that I have to remind myself of with these very, very powerful synthesizers that can do so many things. You don't have to do them all at once. Now, if you want to brush up on your synth knowledge and some of the basics, you can download a free walkthrough video in the description where I'll take you through all of the terminology, the basic workflow of subtractive synthesis step by step, while actually showing you what I'm talking about in a non-YouTube algorithm free environment so we can get super deep, super nerdy, and we won't have to worry about the algorithms. And if you want to see more stuff like this and more in-depth synthesis tutorials and all of that good stuff, you can click that subscribe button, which will always be free and will help me out tremendously as I continue to grow this channel. I truly appreciate you. And finally, if you want to see that video that I was referencing in the beginning of this video, you can click on this box right here.